Hi everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll actually be reading. Remember the deep end when I started it? I read one chapter and one page. So if you did not see that video, it is going to be linked down below. So it's one of the links, or it is just one link, but I'll put a link to that video. And yeah, so let's continue on where we started, where we, uh, you know, where we were. And plus also, I'm reading to my dog again. Yeah, so I'm going to be reading to him. Um, yeah. So, the deep end. Okay, let's go to the page. <clears throat> There's no shame in failing pretty pretty as in p r e e t i calls after them they glance back in surprise and they stare and they share a look that makes my inside twist insides twist i'm being mocked by children now i loop my arms around pretties i appreciate the protection but can we like not not draw anymore Attention to me today. Please, I groan. I should have just wa waged, wagged, wagged something. Pretty shakes her head. You, you would have just spent the whole day freaking out about getting caught. I'd be better than this, I say. Besides, Pretty continues. You w wouldn't, would have had to come back eventually who says i matter she nudges me don't worry jessica b and amur are due for another breakup and any up breakup any minute now here's hopping the stage out of their classics main school quad meltdowns and district everyone from your disgrace we've reached the food tech room thank you for wishing bad things on other people for me i say as we enter pretty launches into a radiation of i i'd do anything from oliver one of her favorite musicals people are looking at us but I mind less this time. As this wasn't even of a day already, the weirdest thing happened in Futek. I make eye contact with Jake Tran three times. If you add in the way he looked at me during the incident yesterday, it's more eye contact in 24 hour period than we've shared in the last year food tech is is the only subject we have together and even when he's in the next kitchen bay he keeps his head down in his mouth and in, in his in his mouth shut his partner lizard his partner, Lizard, his partner, Lizard, not his real name, is the opposite. A delinquent who is constantly making noise and causing trouble and has on two occasions starts, a, starts actual fires. Allergetic, allergetic by accident. Jerk tram bears it all with a patient that is impressive or it would have would be fun if he just that impressive or it would be if he didn't just constantly look bored i guess that's why my heart starts thumping I Excuse me, sorry. When I'm mid 
hairnet application and catch him stop staring at me. He looks away immediately, but his dark brown eyes are definitely on mine for a moment. I try to shake it off. Everyone is looking at me today. We're passing each other on the way to slash from the fridge when it happens again. Only this time, even weirder, because not only does he not look away, he gives me a small smile. I do a double take, but I've gone past him before. I can form any kind of response. What was that about? I real I realize I know vertically nothing about Jake Tram, except that he's an excellent swimmer and he's pretty has better patience than my mother on one of my granny's week weekly event session phone calls. The conversation from mum's end goes like this Yes, yeah, 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 I know you're right, yes, yeah, yeah, I don't even know who Jake hangs out with. Pretty and I sit on the benches in front of the library at recess and lunch. And wherever his spot is, it's nowhere near ours. Probably out the back by the soccer field with the rest of the jocks and the cool kids. I become hyper, hi, hi, hyper aware of Jake from the re- the Jake for the rest of the period. All it takes was two instances of eye contact, three if you count yesterday, and it's just like my body is on high. Okay. Jake Tran alert. Somehow his attention carries more weight than everyone else's in this room. Probably because my Follow you, follow you, follow you. I don't, I don't know. I just skip. Must seem a, seem a thousand times worse in his what eyes. But why do I care what he thinks? Who am I kidding? I care what everyone thinks deeply. Sorry, I'm just looking. Okay. Wow. Okay. Sorry. It's. It's why I'd been so set against going to the swimming carnival in the first place. I'd been feeling sick about it for weeks. I'd really tried everything to convince mum to let me out of it. I even con con confided, confided, confided that I didn't want people to see me in my swimmers. She just... She just sniffed and told me I had nothing to hide. On the way home yesterday, she'd been quiet. When we got there, in, I'd immediately escaped into my bedroom, curled up into a ball on my bed and sobbed my shattered heart out. She left me to... It and amongst my anger at her for making me go to the swimming carnival, a little ripple of shame flowed through me at the idea of I'd let her down. It made me sob harder. I don't know how much time passed like that, but it must have been a while because Dad arrived home from work and came in to check on me. By then, my sobs had faded into a calm, quiet stream of tears. It wasn't long after that when Mum knocked on my door and entered with a cup of tea. She sat on my bed and soothed, smoo smoothed back my hair, smoothed back, and she told me she was sorry for forcing me to enter the race. She had tears in her own eyes as she looked at me. Somehow it felt worse than uh, if she'd s said she was disappointed. Thoughts of my mum exit my head when I realize Jake Tran is looking at me again. 
I'm washing dishes at Pretty's Drees and complain, complains, 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 as she does every time. We have food tech this period about the whole meal. We're going to have to pack up and carry around all day because Mr. Don Donahue, Donahue doesn't care that it's too early for dinner. Food at 10 a.m. unless you're lizard who gobbles down his portion on the spot and often Jack, Jake turns to. I glance over to their bay every time. I've done it so in the last 45 minutes and it's been more times than I sorry than I want to admit Jake hasn't been looking there looking there was one moment when I thought I saw him turning his head away just as I looked and a second later when I double checked, he seemed to do it again, but then Lizard tossed something in their frying pan and, and that got, caused smoke to fill their bay. And Jake's focus shifted entirely off coughing and fanning the air in front of his face, but now the air is clearer and he is definitely watching me again. I instantly snap my head down, my heart picking up speed when I speak. Another glance, he's still looking, and then the most surprising thing of all happens. He opens his mouth and inhales as though he's going to say something. The bell rings before he get, before he can get any words out, and he turns away and expressions on his face. I don't know how to in, in, interpret, interpret, I don't know. I'm bent over shov shoving my container of still hot fried rice into my backpack backpack when an arm brushes my shoulder and I folded and a folded piece of paper drops into my bag. I straighten up to see Jake Tran walking away from me. He doesn't look back. I reach into my bag and I pull out the piece of paper. What's that? Pretty asks. I unfolded it, my hands be betraying me by shaking. What the who wrote that? What the who wrote that? Pretty says as she looks over my shoulder at what's written on the page in a small neat letters. Meet me at the pool at six PM. Don't be late. PS bring your swimmers. Is someone setting you up? Pretty asks. Just chuck it. But I have about a thousand questions of my, my own exploding in my mind. Wait, how many pages do this have? Sorry, I'm just looking. Um, also just saying, I might not read this all on camera. Like, you know, all this. Jake Tram wants me to meet him at the pool at 6 p.m. What, why, how, what is happening, I don't know much. But I do know one thing. There is no way I am returning to the scene of the crime. I bunch the note up into a bowl and do as Pretty suggested. I chuck it in the bin. Okay, so that was um, a chapter. So, yeah, um, I was going to write, uh, I'll read chapter three in my next video. Or, yeah. So, let's get this video to two likes. I know it's not much, but two likes. And I'll keep reading this. If it does not get two likes in a week, I'm not going to do another of this book. Okay? The Deep End. Or else I probably might. Just saying sorry, I'm blocking that. Yeah, so, yeah. The Deep End. I love this book so much. I like I I read the back of it one time, and I read the back of that, um, and I'm like, I'm getting this. I go, I'll whisper to myself, I'm getting this. So I put it in my hands, went to walk around, grabbed a few other books, and 
Turns out this one, this one's new at the library, so I actually had to return my old one from this. You know how I had how the other time I read one chapter in one page, so that one actually that book had got, had to get returned. But this one is the exact same book, but a different copy of the book, but it's the same at the same time. But yeah, I just continued from where I was up to because well, it since it was new to the library um they had to make it go back earlier so yeah this one actually is a due back earlier too but yeah yeah hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed my video um and just saying i was reading it to you guys i was reading it as my homework and i was also reading it to jimmy Choo, which is actually asleep right now oh baby i know you're just a sweetheart my baby, my beautiful baby, look at you. Yes, yeah, so I read to him, you guys, and my homework. Not as in my homework, like actually doing it for my homework. But yeah, I just thought you guys would want to hear the re some m another chapter of that story. Bye, hopefully you subscribe, like, share with your friends. That's like Queen Books or even... Just send it if they like audiobooks or listening to people read books. Bye!